What's up everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts. My name is Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to uh, my room. I know it's magical, isn't it? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm in Florida. I've been here for the past, uh, I don't know, a few weeks. It was my dad's 80th birthday, so we all flew in to celebrate having the time of our lives. Not really doing much stand-up. I did a sh open mic last night. It was pretty horrendous. And uh, I'm gonna be booked in St. Pete tonight. Gonna do a show out there, so I'm excited to do that. But, well, you know, last night I sat through this entire open mic and it was a lot of, I noticed a lot of these young comics do a lot of dick jokes, like dick and just very, I guess, vulgar blue humor, which is fine, but I mean, at least have a joke behind it. But I did see one guy who was talking about personal experiences and. It was really grounded. It wasn't like super funny, but it was just it was just really authentic. And I told him that and I was like, hey man, your stuff really stands out. And I hope that was enough to just, you know, my word means nothing out here, but I think that's not done enough in arts. People don't tell people when they're doing a good job. So I'm not saying this to tell me a good, I'm doing a good job, but I had to tell this kid, I was like, hey, you're doing something cool. Like I can't wait to see where this, kid uh, ends up in 10 years. He must have been like 21, 22. But I did some new jokes. Did some, I'll do some jokes tonight. And the reason why I'm getting up, I'm trying to, is because I'm going to go to Boston this weekend. So I'll be performing in Boston Friday and Sunday. If you're there in the Cambridge area, I mean, I'll put it on my Instagram. I don't even know where it is, honestly. I can't, I think Tasty Burger or something. I don't know what the hell, some burger thing. But it's supposed to be a really good show. So if you want to go, uh, come out. But aside from that, really nothing's going on. I mean, the strike is killer. I mean, it does suck. Like My acting career is immobilized. My writing career is at a standstill writing career. But now, you know what I'm saying? Like, the strike has really just taken its toll on a lot of people, me included. And I'm going to go back to L.A. in September and just, um, I don't know what I'll do. Let me get a job at Starbucks. I can't even say that. No, I'm going to start a real estate company or something. Who knows? So many options. I can't wait. It's going to be it's going to be completely magical. I'm going to manifest some great stuff. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Sorry I haven't been making this more videos for this YouTube channel, but it's kind of discouraging because <laughs> nobody really gives a shit. But hey, you know what? It's all good. Oh, did you guys buy my book by the way? Please. About my mom. I'll tell you a quick story about that. I texted, I texted four people, like famous people, uh, if they could please repost my book. Only one person did it, that was Hassan Minaj. So shout out to him, he's never gonna see this video. But like, here's another great quote that I heard. Have no expectations, because otherwise you're just gonna be disappointed. And sometimes I'm like, man, how hard is it just to like put it on your IG story? I mean, come on, like how hard is that? Like, and then I'm like, well, you know, why am I expecting things from people? So uh, thanks, Hassan, for uh, helping promote my book and anybody else who put it on their IG story. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you had a chance to check it out uh, and read my book. It's, it's sold out on Amazon, apparently, because they didn't make enough copies, but you can still order it. It's on Kindle as well. If you don't want to read it, no pressure. I mean, that's fine too. But I hope you guys are having a great day, and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye.